Willpower and a steady hand were always called for in the case of one of the most incredible operations carried out during the Roman period, eye surgery. Romans, like us today, could suffer from cataracts, a clouding of the lens in the eye that can lead to blindness. But also like us, they had a cure, a delicate operation. Cataract operations seem to be common. It's a very simple operation in which you put a very thin needle into the eye and flip over the lens. And we've got lots of instruments, mainly from France, but elsewhere in the, in the Roman Empire, that seem to show that this was a common procedure. The technique, known as couching, involved the use of a very fine needle. Surgeons would expertly insert the needle into the back of the eye to remove the cataract. One slip could have caused permanent blindness. In some developing countries today, the technique of couching is carried out in exactly the same way as it would have been by Roman doctors. And even in Western medicine, which we think has advanced so much in the last two centuries, there are still similarities with ancient techniques. See that central incision there? When this ancient couching needle is placed next to its modern equivalent, you can see the similarities. Although the materials and design are slightly different, they would have been used in much the same way. Galen himself would have certainly been comfortable using either. And perhaps he knew even more. A unique find in Montbellet, France, has revealed an even more advanced technique in ancient eye surgery. These instruments were found in a bronze tube on the bed of the River Seine, so they're very well preserved, and as well as um, three solid cataract couching needles, there are two needle syringes. These amazingly delicate syringes were at first a mystery. It was only when the tools were x-rayed that their secret was revealed. Using these radiographs, modern eye surgeons could then begin to explain what they were for. This is a, an even more sophisticated instrument, and it's a very cunning piece of design in that it's, it's a hollow instrument with a introducer. So with this, it would be a much a more sophisticated operation of being able to enter the lens itself, and then the surgeon would remove the needle from within inside and be able to, to suck the lens contents out through the small port. The hollow couching needle, known as the Montbellet needle, would have required an incredibly skilled and confident surgeon. The needle would have been inserted into the eye at a much earlier stage of the cataract before it hardened. At this stage, the fluid cataract could be sucked out of the eye, thus saving a much greater degree of the patient's sight. It would have been a very effective operation. The needle is not very different from the electric suction needle used by surgeons to carry out the same operation today.